Jollet's Gymnastics Swing Into Spring Part 2. Remember to watch the safety guidelines before doing any of the Jollet's Gymnastics video sessions. Welcome to Part 2 of Swing Into Spring. Today we're going to do some trampoline safety. If you've got a trampoline in your backyard, we're going to work on some trampoline safety activities. We're also going to do some chair activities. Different things you can do at home with the chair. All right, let's get started. Now, if you go back to last week's video, you can do our warm-up game, which was our musical landings, and our warm-up stretching, which was a lot of Danish gymnastics swinging activities, just to get you warmed up ready for today. My life and trampolining. In the 60s, my father, Peter Joel, introduced trampolines into Western Australia. Jet Joel trampolines. As you can imagine, I started my trampolining at a very young age. If I wasn't on the trampoline, I was swinging around the bars underneath the trampoline. Safety in the 60s was a little bit different than today's many strict regulations. Sadly, Jet Joel trampolines cease production in Western Australia. So every chance my son and I get, we'll seek out a Jet Joel trampoline and enjoy the thrill of flying. Safety on your backyard trampoline. Attached will be the Kids Safe WA fact sheet on trampolines. Let's demonstrate some of the main safety points to remember. Bare feet while jumping on the trampoline. Safe entry on and off the trampoline. If the netting around the trampoline has a zip, then ensure you do the zip up when you're bouncing. One person on the trampoline at a time. Stay in the middle of the trampoline while jumping. Make sure trees or bushes are cut back to avoid hitting any branches while jumping. Always finish with a safety stop after jumping. Only attempt skills to your level. Always climb down safely and keep smiling. Let's do some chair activities. Please check with mum or dad before you use a chair. Make sure it's stable and strong and sturdy to do the activities. Please welcome Maddie and Emma who will be helping us today. We're going to start with a game. Now this game could be musical stops with the chairs. But instead of sitting on the chair, go underneath the chair when the music stops. Or you could skip a certain around, amount of times around the chair. Once you've gone three times, you've got to crawl under the chair as fast as you can. And then I think these girls ended up having pretty much a competition to see who could get under the chair the fastest. And I think Maddie was our winner. Bouncing activities, making sure your chair's nice and sturdy, bottom up as high as you can, bouncing. Then next we have hands on the chair and tucking knees into tummy, making sure those knees come right up into your tummy and chest. Then we move to a star, so legs straight out, trying to make sure your toes are going towards the chair. Next is a squat on. So hands on, squatting your feet on, jumping forwards and landing in the motorbike. Making sure your hands are right forwards so you get that balance on your chair so it doesn't tip forwards or backwards. Strength activities. We'll start with some front support. So holding either toes on the chair and hands on the floor or hands on the chair and leaning your shoulders right over your hands and holding, making sure your head is in line with your body. So lifting your head up, nice and in line. 
Then moving on to push-ups. So front support position, bending your elbows, trying to get your nose down either to the chair or to the floor. Next, we move to strength holds, either in a tuck position or a straddle position, pushing hard down on the chair. And we'll move on to squats. So either holding onto the back of the chair, squats, or hands forwards and lightly touching your bottom on the chair to stand up. Then try one-legged squats. These are a little bit harder and very good for balance. Make sure that you do both legs when you do your squats. So your right leg and your left leg. Squatting down and standing up straight. Giving the legs a break, moving on to rear support. So feet, your heels on the chair, lifting your hips up and then down and making sure your back stays, your shoulders stay on the floor. So lifting and down and lifting and squeeze your bottom and down. Okay, this is practice our arch position. So lying over the chair, if you need a towel on the chair to make it softer, that's okay. Hands down onto the floor, toes to the floor and lifting up and holding. Hold that arch position. Next we'll do a dish shape. So she's sitting on the edge of the chair, rolling back, lifting those legs and holding a dish shape, making sure your back goes down, your lower back goes down onto the chair and you hold. Handstand activities. I'm going to start with standing in front of the chair, hands on the floor, putting our knees up onto the chair, being nice and sturdy. Make sure you settle first before you bring your hands right in to push your bottom up as high as you can, really pushing through those shoulders. Once you've held that position, walking your hands back forwards to come out and feet down. Next, we're going to set, try the same idea. However, you're going to try and straighten your legs out. So feet back on the chair and trying to get your legs straighter so your knees are not on the chair. Then walking forwards and out. Moving on to levers. Start in a lunge position, arms straight up. Holding a teddy bear, you're going to leave it forwards, touch the teddy bear and back. Keep that lunge position when you return. With this next activity, put our hands down, our knees on, bringing those hands in as close as you can and lifting one leg straight up in the air and holding. Point that toe. Make sure you try both legs, so lifting the other leg up. Got to try and get that leg nice and straight, straight as we can. As you can see, Maddie is up on her toe when she does hers. Next, we're moving on to kicking to a handstand. Once again, hands on the floor, feet on the chair, and try and kick up and down. If you feel like you're going to go over the top, kick and turn to the side. Or kicking and forward roll. Cartwheel activities. We're going to start with our hands on the chair and bouncing over the top of a teddy bear. Tuck those knees right up over the top, pushing on your hands. The next activity, Maddie will demonstrate bouncing right over the top. Emma will be lifting one leg over and then the other leg over. Trying to keep those legs straight. This is good for arm strength and feeling that movement from side to side. You can get two chairs and just practice the straddle hole position that you do in a cartwheel. Next, we're going to move on to levers cartwheel, levering in and out of the cartwheel. Once again, we've got our teddy bears and holding them above our head. Start in a lunge, finishing in a lunge. And moving on a little bit further, if you have two lines on the floor, you can practice putting your feet on the line, hands on the chair and kicking to the other side. Starting in a lunge, trying to kick to the other line on the other side. Hands on, kicking as hard as you can. Activities with two chairs. Starting, standing up straight, hands on the chairs, 
tucking your knees up and hold. If you can, try and straighten your legs out to an L hold. Tucking and L. You can even try hands on and swinging backwards and forwards. Good practice for your bar swinging backwards and forwards. There's some other activities. You could try a lever position between two chairs, a front um, pike position. You can even try kicking up or planching forwards to do a straddle to handstand and a roll out. Or two together, up into a nice high position and back down again to seal and then back up to I'm sure you can make up lots of other activities have fun well there you go that's the end of our part two of swing into spring hope you enjoyed it until next time what do you have to do got to keep smiling